God bless you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Prophet Shani Bigford and today I want to share with you on the eight prior watches. I'm going to share with you something that is very prophetic and if you understand this by the Spirit of God, this is something that will change your life. A lot of you are praying for change, you're praying for answers, you're praying for encounters, you're praying for deliverance for your family and in many cases the reason why your prayers are not being answered it's not just because you may not be praying incorrectly, but the timing in which you pray also plays a very significant role in the answers and the outcome of your prayer. And so if this is something that you are interested in, please make sure you go ahead and like the video leave a comment in the comment section share with me what what is it in this video that has blessed you the most or if you can relate to anything that i'm saying also please make sure you subscribe we are on our way to 15,000 subscribers so please make sure you're sharing 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 i want you guys to share the video with as many persons as you possibly can also if you are interested in prophetic mentorship if you feel stuck you feel stagnant you feel hopeless purposeless you don't know where you are what you're supposed to be doing especially if you're caught to the prophetic and you're not sure where to go from here please make sure you go ahead and visit my website at shanikbegfordministries.org so you can schedule your prophetic consultation today or you can do any of our mentorship prophetic school of the sea or deliverance courses that are actually listed on the website all right so we're gonna go ahead and roll the clip the clip and come right back to today's video welcome back so what is the best time to pray if you are going to pray what is the best time for you to lock yourself into prayer what is the significance between the prophetic watches of prayer as an intercessor as a prophetic intercessor it is very important that you understand the prayer watches and what time it is that you are committing into prayer God has given us these prophetic prayer watches so we can be more effective we can be more militant and we can pray based on the strategic time zone when certain things are being done spiritually there are certain times of the day and night where there are certain transactions that are being done where you can have encounters etc and so i'm going to share this with you so it can help you i believe that god god is just so upset with so many things that are happening in this in in, in this nation and in this season and so there has been an ongoing a prolonged you know state of of messiness state of idol worshiping and witchcraft within the church and so God is now at a place where I believe that he is exposing a lot of leaders. So in this season, you're actually going to see a lot of exposure even before the month of September is out. You're going to see a lot of videos circulating. You're going to see a lot of exposures, especially where the church is concerned and the political arena is concerned. You're going to see exposure where certain leaders have messed up, where certain leaders really are explicitly really don't care about God. Uh, you're going to see uh, churches, you know, just denouncing and walking away from other churches ministers residing from certain churches because of what they see happening in that church they, they no longer want to be a part of so a lot of these things are happening and one of the ways in which God will begin to reveal these things to you is if you understand the prior watch and you're committing to that midnight prior you're committing to burning that oil you know that oil in your prayer lamp at a particular time to get the download and the revelation from the Holy spirit so the first prior watch that there is is um the watch from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The first prayer watch, many of you who are watching, you would actually believe that the first prayer watch actually begins at, you know, 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. in the morning. No, the first prayer watch begins in the evening. That is when you're getting ready to start a whole new day. So God is starting the prayer watch before the day commences. So you can you can tackle the enemy, you can tackle the plans and the, 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 the assaults that the enemy wants to send to afflict your day to to you know to cause setback to cause delay to cause sickness so god has strategically appointed the first prayer watch at 6 p.m to 9 p.m so that way you can go through the first you know four prayer watches to have an impact on your day ahead of the enemy and i'm gonna explain so the first prayer watch is 6 p.m to 9 p.m in the evening this is a period of reflection note that when most persons have dinner is between six and seven by the time they get off from work 
they're sitting with their family when you sit to have dinner with your family around the table you you're really reflecting on your day you know you're asking your husband hey babe how was your day hey kids you know how was school today you're reflecting on the day that you actually went through so between those hours also it's a significant it's a reason why you reflect with your kids at dinner your family at dinner because it's because spiritually that time is a time that is set by the spirit of god where you should come into a place of prayer and reflection so the first prayer watch is six to nine is a time of reflection of reflecting on your life your day internalizing you know the things that you have done that you shouldn't have done that you need to ask god to cleanse you of to purify you of to sanctify and consecrate you so it's a time of reflection introspection cleansing and reflecting on you know who you are what you have gone through who you have entertained into your space and all of that the second prior watch is 9 p.m to 12 midnight this is a very important prior point uh, i'm gonna try to see if i can put a link in my description that will take you guys to some notes and scriptures but the second prior watch is between 9 p.m and 12 midnight and the bible says in psalm 119 and 62 at midnight i will arise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgment so between the hours of 9 and 12 this is the hours where intercessors need to arise to pray judgment over the onslaught attacks of the enemy the impending advancements of the enemy note that um, the third prior watch i'm jumping ahead for a second in the third prior watch is 12 to 3 and in this in this prior watch th this is the time for a spiritual exchange and demonic interference this is the time where hell comes up and begins to interrupt your dreams and attack you etc so then when the intercessor and the prophet begins to pray at 9 p.m to 12 midnight you're having an opportunity to go ahead of the enemy and cancel every attack that the enemy will send remember the scripture says that while men slept the evil one came and saw tears among the wheat if the devil comes up between 12 and 3 3 30 they about and he he attacks your dream he he have he has sex with you in your dream he sends someone to chase you in your dream black cats black dogs spiders every bad and wicked or witchcraft dreams that you will have in most cases will happen between the hours of 12 and 3 3 30 to 4 a.m in the morning so when you come into a place of prayer in the second watch 9 to 12 you can go ahead and pray and cancel the havoc that the enemy wants to create so you're praying and you're telling the devil that before 12 midnight comes and you begin to attack my home i have already canceled your advancement i have already canceled the weapons that you will send so note that between 9 and 12 the devil is now in hell literally having a conference meeting assigning devils i want you to at 12 midnight go to this house at 1 a.m go to this house go attack this family go attack the children they are sending out their assignments and assigning demonic spirits to particular countries particular families particular individuals that's what is happening and so when you pray between 9 and 12 you're literally counteracting the plans of hell you're canceling the plans of hell before they begin so before the devil comes up at 12 to 3 to interrupt your life to attack and to shut you down you have already canceled it before he started the devil does not like teachings like these so I do hope that you're sharing this with someone that needs to catch this. Do not go to sleep before midnight and not pray to cancel the advancements and the attacks of hell against your life. The third prayer watch now is 12 p.m. It's 12 midnight to 3 a.m. 12 midnight to 3 a.m. This is the hour where the, this is the hour that is referred to as the bewitching hour. So between the hours of 12 and the hours of 3, this is where hell and this antaro and its minions i call them minions this is where hell and its minions come up into the earth realm and they begin to wreak havoc so this is where some of you will have experience where you know demonic spirits are holding you down you'll have the worst the bad the some bad dreams some crazy you know dreams and attacks in your dreams this is where the devil comes to have sex with people and he tries to wreak havoc in the lives of individuals between this bewitching hour it is a witching hour where witches will rise it is 
referred to as the darkest hours. And so it is in this period of darkness between 12 and 3 that the enemy will come up and try to attack you. Why is hell attacking you at this time? Because it is right before 4 a.m., which is the break of dawn. If the devil can attack you between 12 and 3, 3 a.m., he can cancel. If you have an interview tomorrow in the morning, he will cancel that interview. He will cause delay. He will cause sickness. He will cause bad news. He will try to steal your grace and favor. If the devil can try to attack you between the hours of 12 and 3, whatever plans you have to do for the rest of the week, whatever plans you have to do uh, in the next day, he is going to come and cancel it. This is why some of you will have bad dreams between these hours and its results, the results that you actually see is nothing but bad news. Nothing but bad and negative news will follow. And so you have to pay very, very keen attention to this hour. This is the hour where the devil attacks families, churches, cities, nations. And so there are some prophetic intercessors that God will have or pray at this strategic hour. At 12 to 3 is an hour. 12 midnight particularly is an hour of judgment. I'm teaching you guys so much. Listen, I have I have a exclusive prophetic mentorship group. Exclusive mentorship. We meet every single Monday night. It's $55 per month. We meet every single Monday night. I'm teaching on some very deep things that will alter your life, that will shift your life, that will educate you in such a way where hell will have no access to your life your finances your family i'm teaching you to be sensitive in the spirit to walk in the spirit to walk in the power and the might of the spirit of god please make sure you go to my website and register for prophetic exclusive mentorship if you want to be mentored make sure you go ahead and register today 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 so you must understand that hell is going to try to cancel and cause spiritual warfare to everything that you're doing before you start that day. It is at midnight that judgment happens. And so when you pray that midnight, when you pray that midnight prayer, this is the time where there is judgment. This is the time where there is also a release. When you pray release at midnight, it's a time for God to rescue and deliver you. Midnight prayer releases you from bondage and captivity. This is why the Bible says at midnight, Midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, Acts 16, and at midnight they prayed and worshipped God. And the angel of the Lord came and broke the prison, the prison cells, they broke the prison bars apart. So Paul and Silas could actually be freed. And so when you pray at midnight, that's a time to pray for deliverance for your family. That's a time to pray for deliverance and to pray for liberty from captivity and bondage. So if you're dealing with bloodline curses, you're dealing with generational curses, you're dealing with whatever kind of a you're dealing with midnight is the time for you to pray deliverance prize then you come now to the fourth prayer watch the fourth prayer watch is the hours of 3 a.m to 6 p 6 a.m so between the hours of 3 a.m and 6 a.m. is a very important and strategic time to pray. It is in this watch that you come into a place of uh, commanding your morning, um, and not just commanding your morning, but this is the time for divine encounters. If you want to encounter Jesus, if you want to encounter the angelic, it is at this time, the fourth prior watch, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., that you can have divine encounters. If you just want to spend time with the Holy Spirit, if you just want to spend time in his presence and to meet and encounter him that 3 a.m to 6 a.m prior watch is very 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 important there's a reason why the holy spirit wakes you up at certain times in the morning whether 2 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m because he wants you to wake up he wants you to wake up watchmen intercessors god wants you to wake up to spend time with you in his presence so do not ignore the watches so the bible says that jesus would wake up early in the morning when it was still dark and isolated late himself and going to the place of prayer and he said to peter can you not last an hour in prayer lest you fall into temptation when you pray at this hour between 3 a.m and 6 a.m it strengthens your spirit man it strengthens your inner man that you're able to overcome temptation that you're over to overcome the onslaught attacks of hell this is the time where you also pray i'm giving you i'm giving you guys good information real quickly I can't teach everything in complete depth, depth on this um, channel, which is why I do exclusive mentorship. But I'm giving you enough that will help you in this season, that will help you to overcome and that will help you to grow and to you know, matriculate into greater realms of the spirit. The Bible also says that Jacob had a certain encounter where he dreamt that he saw a ladder stretching from 
the earth into the heavens and he saw angels when he woke up he said this is the most dreadful place i was at the gate of heaven and i didn't even know it so the bible said that jacob goes back to this very same place and he goes into a place of you know potentially or possibly seeking god while he's here the bible said that he encountered an angel when he encountered an angel he held on to the angel and the angel said let me go pay attention to this part the bible says the angel said the angel of the lord said let me go it is about it is about to be daybreak and i have to go why did the angel say about to be daybreak at this strategic fourth watch 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. There are certain angelic spirits that are assigned by God, deployed by God to do certain responsibilities in the earth realm at strategic times. Jacob captured this angel at a specific time that not only did he capture the angel spiritually, but he held on to the angel at a specific time of the morning that the angel had to say, let me go. Prophetess, what are you saying? I'm simply saying if you want to capture your angels, if you want to encounter your angels, if you want to encounter the presence of God, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is your time to pray. You want encounters? You want to see heaven? You want to see angels? You want your spiritual eyes to be open? You want to just experience the fullness, the grace, and the glory of God? 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is your time to pray. It's your time to command your morning, to declare over your day, declare over your morning blessings, prosperity, favor, wealth, goodness, all the goodness and mercies that God has for you. The fifth prayer watch is... 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. This is the time where you pray that God will strengthen you as a believer. So as you pray in this hour, you're asking God to strengthen you so you can be equipped, strengthened, and equipped basically to go throughout the day that you have ahead of you. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 30, Ephesians 4 and verse 12. The sixth prayer watch is 9 a.m. to 12 midday. 9 a.m. to 12 midday. As you pray between the hours of 9 a.m. to 12 midday, this is the time where you are, it's, it's, it's a time to harvest the goodness of God. So between 9 a.m. to 12 midday is a time to harvest the goodness of God. So everything that you pray that the devil would not stop between 9 and 12, second prayer watch, everything you cancel that the enemy wanted to do and you fought for your breakthrough between 12 and 3, and then you commanded your morning and you encountered God between 3 and 6, when you get to the hour of 9 a.m. and 12 midday, that is the time for you to begin to harvest all the good things that God has. So you begin to pray for favor in your business. You begin to declare and release favor. My clients will come. I will get promotions. I will get increase in my salary. You begin to reap the harvest that God has. And so that time you begin to pray for these things. That time is a very strategic time within the, the actual, you know, financial sector, you know, the, the e-commerce world. The, the you know the time that you are at work between 9 a.m. and 12 midday is a time for work and so that is the time for you to pray over your business to pray for advancement and harvesting in your business 12 midday is very strategic the 12 midday prayer is very strategic if you miss your i'm giving you something very key right now if you miss 12 midnight prayer if you miss the prayer at 12 midnight for judgment for deliverance for liberty if you pray at 12 midday that's another beautiful and powerful time to pray your 12 midday prayer is the time where you can pray for judgment and powerful deliverance at 12 midday jesus was crucified and that is where there was the final judgment against sin against the enemy against you know the kings of this world etc and so when you pray at 12 it's a powerful time for you to experience deliverance i'm not going in any more depth with that if you guys want the teaching go ahead and join our exclusive mentorship but 12 midday is very very important it's the time where the entire earth was rendered as god judged the nation as god judged our enemies as god overthrew the kingdoms of this world you know the evil system things of this world so it's a powerful time to pray and then you have the seventh prayer watch which is at 12 midday to 3 p.m 12 midday to 3 p.m this is the time to spend time in the secret place of god this is one of my most favorite prayer watches my favorite prayer watch is at 3 a.m to 6 a.m 
encounters, angels, spending time in the presence of God. My second uh, favorite prayer watch is the seventh prayer watch, which is 12 midday to 3 p.m. 12 midday to 3 p.m. is the prayer watch where you spend time in the secret place and in the quietness and stillness of God. It is at that time of three, the third hour in the cool of the day where Jesus, uh, he had, you know, just gone through the whole process of giving up the ghost and all of that on the cross. It's a time where the Bible says in the book of Genesis that and Jesus, you know, would visit Adam and he would come and talk to him in the cool of the day. So if you study your Bible, when Jesus would come and meet with men in the cool of the day, Abraham encountered Jesus in the cool of the day. Adam would experience talking and spending time with Jesus in the cool of the day. There's a time to capture angels, 3 a.m., 6 a.m. There's a time to capture Jesus cool of the day in the cool of the day study your bibles and you'll get it but uh, the bible said that abraham was minding his own business at his house and he saw the lord passing by and he said no 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 wait a second wait a second you're not gonna pass my house just like that and he said no 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 you've got to stop and come by my house so abraham captured an hour in the spirit that jesus passes through the earth realm so you have to pay very keen attention to the times that spiritual activity happens whether it's demonic or it is actually heavenly or divine so i just gave you guys a very powerful 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 secret and mystery if you want to encounter jesus in prayer and then you have the eighth prayer watch the eighth prayer watch is 3 p.m to 6 p.m 3 p.m to 6 p.m is a time of triumphant glory celebration and removing limitations from your life so everything that you would have prayed and declared you can now become triumphant you can celebrate you can thank god and you can remove any form of limitation doubt and fear from you because you have seen god and you have encountered god move for you throughout the day i want you to go ahead and put it in the comment section what is your most favorite prior watch or what is the prior watch that God has been assigning you to in this season? What prior watch is it that you feel that you need to commit more time to that you haven't been paying attention to? So if you miss something, you can go back. You can, you know, just catch the prior watches, what time they are, you know, what the prior watches are, you know, significant of so that it can help you in your prior time. Guys, if you need more information on this, you can either join our prophetic exclusive mentorship, which I teach, train, and we pray i pray with my mentees every monday at 7 30 p.m and also uh make sure you go ahead book your prophetic consultation or do a course with us i do a prophetic courses school of the seal dream interpretation demonology there are so many courses offered on our website that can help you and that can you know just nurture and develop you to understand the things of the spirit of god that you may walk in the fullness and the maturity and demonstrate all that god has called you to do in this season please remember to like the video leave Leave a comment in the comment section. Share with as many persons as you can. Share with your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your stepmama, whoever it is that you're connected to. Ask them to subscribe. Help us to get to 15,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for everything and for supporting me. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Hi, I'm Pastor Shani Beckford and I want to help you in answering, understanding and maturing the call of God that's on your life. So if you have questions, if you have uncertainties, if you're not sure who you are, or what God is calling you to do, you have questions concerning your ministry, your family, whatever it is, I want to sit with you on a prophetic consultation to help you navigate through your life. So if you need a prophetic word from the Lord for direction, if you need prayers, if you need deliverance, whatever it is that you need. If you are a pastor but you feel stuck, if you're a prophet but you are unsure about the season that you're in, I want you to go ahead and schedule in your prophetic consultation today. If you're called to be a prophet and you need assistance with understanding your prophetic call because everyone has been telling you that you're called to be a prophet but you don't know what you're supposed to do, you don't know where you're supposed to start, there are several courses that I offer as one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, that's right. That means you can sit
sit with me on a video call or phone call if you're more comfortable that way I'll sit with you I'll teach you any of the following courses so I'm mentioning you one-on-one -on -one. we have courses that are prophetic courses prophetic one-on-two -on courses we have deliverance and demonology I have school of the sea of supernatural I'm teaching on the glory realm I'm teaching on dream and dream interpretation we have deep we have deliverance and demonology there are several courses that are being offered that can definitely help you to understand the prophetic call of God that's on your life so you can navigate in the maturity that which God has called you to do and if you're not sure which course to take but you know there's a call of God that's on your life then you can schedule in your prophetic consultation if you want to advance in your giftings your callings to start your businesses I'm offering life coaching sessions as well also if you just want materials to read on any of the following that I've shared there's several books that I have published on Amazon you can go search for my name at Shanika Bedford to find any of the books that I have published over on that space please make sure visit the website at Shanika Bedford Ministries dot org or you can call at 876-215-5484 if you're international you may also call 213-258-1080 I want to work with you today so you can walk in the fullness and everything that God has for you can be unlocked in your life. God bless you and enjoy the rest of the video.